Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. It is early on um, Sunday, but I figured I'd stop here and say what's up. What's good? So, um, I just came from Walmart. Um, we're just getting a few things that I think we may need, like for preparation for this ice storm or whatever we're having here in Houston. Um, we're expecting that we may just maybe have like rolling blackouts um, during the storm because we aren't prepared for anything like this. We aren't prepared for a full day of snow. Okay. So anyway, I just want to stop here and say, hey, y'all. And I think I, what I'm going to do today, um, I have planned on cleaning my uh, drawers out, like wiping them, cleaning them out and cleaning up my cabinet doors, um, putting up like the stuff I got from Walmart cleaning off like my counters and stuff it's really not that dirty in here like this kind of stuff could be washed and put up like whatever but just like the little maintenance stuff right cleaning out my dishwasher with like um the hot water sanitizer with um what you call it um vinegar and doing the same thing with my washer cleaning out the inside of my dryer just some little maintenance work so i think i'm gonna do that i haven't eaten yet i actually got these um over easy bars um sent to me these little breakfast bars i was thinking about eating one but i need to eat eat i might eat one later but um i'll share them with you all anyway um their breakfast bars peanut butter this is 10 grams of protein six grams of fiber um i'm gonna have to read about these and get y'all more information um this is apple cinnamon that sound good uh, banana nut. Oh, this sounds real good. <laughs> this might be a snack. <laughs> oh, this is what happens when you're hungry. This is nine grams of protein, seven grams of fiber. Um, huh. It just says it has um, organic oats, bananas, almonds, and egg whites. That's all it has in here. So it doesn't have the yellow like I don't like. So how about that? I might have to eat these. So they sent me two boxes. That was really nice. I mean, it just come like this. I'll put the link down below of what they are, how much, you know, and how to get them if you're interested. And then we'll come back and chit chat a little bit more about them, you know, whatever. Get more detail about it because y'all know how I am about like these protein snacks. I don't know if y'all know, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I started a challenge with my friends who's been doing it. Um, they're on Fitbit. So y'all know I don't have, I don't wear my Fitbit, I wear my um, Galaxy watch. And what I decided to do was put out the old Fitbit, get some new bands. Are they down here? They're upstairs. I'll show them to you. I went on Amazon, got some new bands for like nine bucks, three pack, right? And uh, so now I'm wearing that. And uh, I started on Wednesday. They do Monday through Friday. And whoever wins, it's like we just cheer each other on. Girl, but they be doing 15, 17,000 steps, ma'am, a day. I was like, okay, so how do I get to that many steps? So I've been doing a treadmill in the morning. And I did one day at night. But other than that, i just been doing like treadmill, my normal, whatever, because I've been busy. So I'm trying to do treadmill at 6 a.m. And then treadmill by 8. And then bathe and go to bed kind of thing. You know, whatever. But y'all, I'm on it. So I went, bought some batteries today so I can weigh myself because my um, thing, my scale is uh, dead. So I need to weigh myself. Um... Am I going to share that with y'all? Not right now. I'll share that with y'all another day. Y'all here to see the kitchen, right? And all this junk we've been picking up. I got more bread for just in case we have to do tunas and chicken salads or whatever. Some potatoes. I might bake those today so we can have hot food today just in case like we really do get messed off tonight and tomorrow. These we would have had a really good hot meal today. Some more bacon because y'all, if you've seen the video with Christopher on Instagram, y'all already know. All right, so I did get some more tortillas because, listen, baby, we could do peanut butter. We could do whatever with them tortillas. Some more eggs for the kids. I did get the girls some cupcakes because Christopher isn't here this weekend. He probably won't be back until Tuesday or Wednesday. It just depends um, with everything we got going on, you know, with the storm. So he's, he wants to stay um, with his, his actually daddy want him to stay with him, okay? He feels some type of way. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's fine. So he got cupcakes for me and the girls. Um, some more zesty pickles. I end up picking up some matchsticks because I have a gas stove. And I was told that even though it's plugged in, the plug is only for like the light, the timer, that kind of thing. But as long as I hit a click, click, I can light it. So if it does, power does go out, we can warm up that way. We don't have... Um, a fireplace here so like the old house so i mean we gotta do what we gotta do 
I did get some more plug-ins. I want to try these, see what they smell like. This one says uh, Blue Agave and Bamboo. So I just picked up two pack um, batteries <laughs> for the remotes and for my scale girl because she is thickums. I bought this to try. I haven't tried this one before. I'm always buying those organic ones, a black charcoal or something. But I saw this and someone told me about it and I said, let me try this because of... Um, I have a little staining from coffee, girl. I got to get back to taking care of my teeth. That's all. And then, y'all, Walmart. Okay, and it was too cold to go anywhere else. Walmart didn't have any vegan or non-dairy creamer. So, I bought this because I'm, I'm, yeah, we're not, we're not going without creamer. Let's get up, child. She's talking about having Valentine's Day. She's just getting up. Um, let's open this package, child. I ordered some hot hands, but I bought some, too. I actually bought some from a friend of mine that drives... Um, trucks and it'd be cold. Let's just pack this right quick. I ordered some stuff from Amazon, um, but I thought that maybe it wasn't going to come today with everything that's going on you know, with the weather. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right on time. So I ordered some of these Ziploc bags, these gallon freezer bags, and I'm going to show you why in a few seconds. Um, and then I bought some of these. Oh, yeah, this came in time, too. Some essential oils. This one has, um, I'll tell you in a minute. Some toe warmers. I always buy the hot hands. I have a whole bag of them. Hold on. When we used to go to football games and all that kind of stuff, it would be cold outside, right? So I went to Walgreens, as I usually do, and I bought some hot hands. Um, so if it does get really cold and we're like, you know, whatever, uncomfortable, you just put these like in your socks. You put these like, you know, like over a t-shirt or something and kind of warm yourself or like on your hands and hold them in your hands. So this one is 18 hours and these are like the larger packs. They had a smaller pack that's like this. See how small that pack is? And these are like the 10 hours. And then I bought some for my friend that drives a truck. Um, it's like a delivery thing, so he doesn't have heat. So I just bought these for him. Because um, I think he got to work. You know, they, they, them people don't care. Um, they got to work. And then these are like feet warmers, like when your feet are cold. You can get them off of Amazon. I think you can get hot hands off of Amazon, too. So those who are like having to be outside when things are, when it's cold, we usually keep them. But um, I guess we've used them all because we use them when we go camping, like when it's still kind of cool at night. Um, we put them in a sleeping bag and stuff like that. So we've always had them. And I don't know if the kids just used them all that was in the garage, but they're gone. So yeah, I'm going to show you why I got the Ziploc bags in a minute. I just want to show you the essential oils I bought. Now I'm going to show you what I got for the girls. So I got chocolate, apple, coconut, cupcake, French vanilla, and peach. And these can be used on skin. So I just put a few drops into my shea butter, uh, coconut oil, vitamin E mixture. And these smell really good as body lotions. So I picked up this one because I think I want uh, cupcake and uh, coconut oil for me. I got to do my nails today. I also picked up a couple of these gels. They love these gels, y'all. Um, let me put this back in here. Alright, so along with their cupcakes, I bought them these from Wally World. These say, um, what did they say, girl? Hello, gorgeous. I thought these were cute, like, pajama sets. Christopher already got his for his, for he left, and his chocolates. Um, I had a feeling he wasn't coming back, girl. His daddy ain't playing with me. He want his son with him, girl, through this storm. Every storm. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but every storm we've ever had, when my house flooded, the old house, and um, the water came through the house and damaged the house. He wasn't with me then. <laughs> he wasn't with me here when we had a bad storm two years ago. Girl, he ain't playing with me. Um, yeah. So, you know, I'm okay with it, though, because I know he's going to take care of him like I would, too. So, it's all good. And um, got some towels, because we needed some more towels for the drawer. I'm going to have to wash these. So that's another thing. We need some more towels. And I want to get the ones from Sam's or Costco. It's too cold for that right now. All right. And then I got um, some 
paper towels. So, yeah, because if we're going to be, you know, especially if like power go out or water or freeze or what, whatever it is, we're going to need something to eat off on. And I don't buy paper plates. So I figured if we're eating sandwich chips or roll up, um, what you call those things, um, tortillas or something, we can eat off napkins. We're good. All right, y'all, let me show you why I got the Ziploc bags. Girl, let me show you something. <laughs> let me show you. So, I got a, um, I got a new gadget from New Air. Ta-da! Look at this baby. Look at her. She just sitting there all pretty. Listen, so this thing claims it can make 40 pounds of ice in a day. So, I, I stopped measuring at like, I want to say like 20, I think we was at 25 pounds and I stopped measuring. Y'all, this thing makes so much ice. So today I'm going to actually count or time it and try it again today. But this is what it looks like. It is from New Air. And this is the inside of it. You flip this up. You take this out. And it's normally full. Full. And then look how big it is. So it takes a whole um, pitcher of water. Let me show you what I've been using to fill it up. This right here. It takes this whole thing of water, this whole thing, to fill up that thing. Let me show you the ice it makes. I made so much ice, y'all, I had to use two trays. All right, so I had ran out of zip out bags, so I made so much ice, I had to use two trays. Let me show you. Look at this ice. Do y'all see this ice? Carol, do y'all see this ice? I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. Look at this ice. This is gonna be so nice. And so the kids are all excited. Um, so I just shut the ice maker off on the refrigerator and was like, this the ice we want. We've had the smaller ones before that you get from my like Sam's and whatever for a few bucks. And they claim they make so much in a short time, but I think we burnt out two of them. I don't know if y'all remember, we had a red one at the old house and we burnt that thing out. And then it was so loud. Now this one's kind of loud too, but I guess because it's in the pantry, I don't really hear it, maybe. I don't know, but um, yeah, let me let these girls get this stuff out the washer and dryer so I can start cleaning out my washer and get busy. Let's make an omelet together before we clean, and then we're going to fill up this um, this thing right here. I'm going to use my Just Egg. Now, there is a um, maximum fill line inside of the actual machine. So it tells you where to stop, you know, so you don't overfill it. All right. Let's pour her up in here, child. It's still not full. So I put eight cups of water in there. So I think it's like 10 cups. So I'm just going to add another two cups. All right. So I'm using filtered water because I just think that's this. Yeah. So it's about 10 cups. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in here, like so. Flip this down so as it makes the ice, the ice will come out right there. And then I'm just gonna turn it on, and that's it. So it'll tell you if when the ice is full, and it will also tell you when to add water. So right now it's just calculating like how much water's in here, and then it's gonna start producing the ice. So while it does this, we're gonna go ahead and clean up. So the time right now is 10.28. So I'll let you know when that is done. Let's get to eating. All right, so I want an egg sandwich, I think. Because, y'all, I'm hungry, hungry. Like, I haven't eaten. So we're going to get this going. First, the toast is going to be buttered just lightly, and I'm going to throw it in the air fryer. I hope you all are doing well. I think I'm going to speed up the video a little bit because this video is probably going to be pretty long if I don't.
coffee and we're gonna start cleaning. Mmm. Yep. This is good. I love these. I haven't made these in a long time. We used to could only get it from Trader Joe's or like Whole Food, like the egg stuff. Maybe it was Whole Food and like um What's the other one? Sprouts. Whole Food Sprouts. And now you can get this at Kroger's. Um, sometimes I find it at Target, ATV, and it's just it. So if you don't want dairy, but you want it to taste like it, mm-hmm. All right, so I'm gonna throw away the old um, towels or just put them, fold, fold them up and put them in the uh, cabinet for like cleaning towels. So I'm just gonna put these new ones in there and then hopefully I can get to Costco by the end of the week and get some more. Um, the big pack of the, um, I don't know if they have the white ones now. They probably have some colorful ones now because of like spring is headed, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. I think I'm just gonna wash them first. So I'm gonna wash these first with the rest of these towels that's dirty. Let's check on the machine. I don't know if you can hear how loud it is, but that's what it sounds like. And it is 11.54. Ice is already dropping. So as you can see, 
I'm gonna let it keep going till it fills up and we'll let you know how long it took. And I gotta rewind the uh, camera to see how, what time it was when we first started. But uh, it's all good. All right, so I think all this is clean. The camera's really cleaned out. I'm worried about that one. The rest of this stuff is gonna go into like for cleaning towels. So this is a drawer that we normally keep like the other towels and the um, like bottle scrubbers and stuff like that in here. So, dog spoons. I'm gonna go ahead and fold the towels up, all these extra like cleaning towels and just put them in here. Yeah. All right, so I've shared this with you all before, the under cabinet like organization. This drawer came from um, maybe Walmart or something. Target, Target, Target. A long time ago, but yeah. But, you know, hey, it works. We're able to keep, like, extra cleaning stuff. It's normally filled with, like, sponges, but we don't have a lot right now. We've been going through them. So, it's all good. Hold on. Let's get more space. Let's just roll them so we can fit them all in here. I mean, these tiles were nice at one point, but after a while, they just kind of get dingy. And, you know, it's time for new tiles. Just like when you buy new pillows, new sheets and stuff. Same thing. Just after a while, everything gets a little dingy. We use them every day because we don't really buy um, paper towels. So because we don't, we use these towels a lot. I'm not a big fan of paper towels. But these can be used for painting like the counters and all that. So I'm going to switch out the, put a new one up here. And so that's the towels. Um, yeah. This is the towels now. Cleaning towels, under counter stuff. This is just stuff we use, y'all. Um, what else is down here? Stain guard. This is actually hand soap. We were using, yeah, this is hand soap. I just switched it out for one I got recently. Um, this is where we keep our pods for the dishwasher. And the rest of the stuff is like fabric shield. Stuff that don't even really belong down here, to be honest. All this stuff can go in the cabinet. So let me take this stuff out. Because none of this stuff like this doesn't belong down here. Only stuff that really belongs down here is like dish stuff and dishwashing stuff. Hold on. Move this stuff out the way. It's a whole OXO container back there. Didn't even know that was there. My fertilizer for my garden stuff, it doesn't go down here. Um, yeah, I could put, well, I'll leave this out. And I'm going to use this for the um, cabinets. All right, so that sums all this up, really. Pretty much. Yeah. I have my gloves here for like when I do my nails and for dishes or whatever. Paper towels go on this little thing. I don't remember where I got this from, but I've had this for at least seven, eight years. But I know you can probably find them um, Amazon or something, I'm sure. And then, yeah, that's it. Nothing really sounded there. Alright, so I went ahead and straighten this up just a little bit. It's empty, y'all. <laughs> like, as much stuff as we normally have, I feel some type of way. So I'll probably run out today because since we're going to be locked down in the house, I'll just start cleaning walls, baseboards, and just cleaning up a lot for the next couple of days since um, 
it probably won't be any mail coming in or packages not too much work to do you know with reviews so i'll clean up a lot so i'm going to run to the store after we um do the ice thing and pick up some stuff to fill up the cabinet but i just kind of organize and put the stuff in there where it goes um i'm gonna do a whole nother video on that i guess when we do a clean with me that's what we'll do so let me go ahead and spray this oven child because i already know i mean it's not that bad i think the last time i sprayed it i just didn't clean it all the way so i can just clean it i did put some um what is that called um what's it called i did put some cleaner in the water um now that we're done with the dishes um so i can start wiping down the cabinets oh murphy's oil soap this is what i'm going to wipe my cabinets down with to clean them and then i'll go back and spray them after i clean them with um one of these towels right here let's see a microfiber towel and wipe down with the pledge Cake batter right here. I would have never known had I, had I not sat down and did this. So, yeah. All right, so this side is done. And I like the way they shine. Yeah, I like the way they shine. Let me do this. But um, I'm going to hit up the top ones first. And then once I'm done with the top ones, on. see the difference? See that dull shine? I don't know if you can tell the difference. It's a big difference. Loving the results, honey. Look at that. Man, just imagine when my kitchen is clean. It's going to look really good. Um, yeah. I'm going to probably do... Tomorrow's video will probably be my cabinet. I'm going to show you my cabinet. This is my snack cabinet. Like health food snacks, my vitamins, all that, coffee cups, all that, okay? Um... Speaking of vitamins, today is um, Sunday. I'm going to take my vitamin. So we'll probably do that tomorrow. That video will probably go up tomorrow. So we can go ahead and get these nuts and stuff put up. And our new Over Easy bars put up. A little health food bars. We'll probably go into more detail about those tomorrow. Um, let's check on the ice. I need to wash my hands. But let's check on the ice. It is 11.21. So it's been, what, almost an hour, I want to say. Oh, my hands are uh, slippery. Look at all that ice. <laughs>
I was wrong. I think my camera had some oil on it. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I think my camera had some oil on it from the oil spray. So I'm done with all the cabinets. I need to mop the floor, honey, because I have slipped and slide one too many times. And now I'm hitting my toe. I'm gonna open up another box real quick while we wait on the ice. I wanna say, I thought it took about 45 minutes, but I don't think I filled it up all the way when I was like checking the clock the last time I did it. I think I, I just felt like it kept making ice all day. And I kept filling up that thing that I didn't really pay attention because I was busy, so I would say like an hour and a half. <laughs> that thing is full. So I'm waiting on it to, to for the red light to come on so we can see how much ice it actually fills up within that time. Um, so this is already about to be that time. But I figured I'd see what the world this is while we're here. So I hope y'all will hang out with me this week while I vlog. Oh, this is a the kids favorite thing um, while I vlog because I do plan on sharing you know some more cleaning tips and tricks with Dr. Bronner's and all that kind of stuff I did get some more of that this week last week um, the rest of it's in like the showers and stuff because the kids use the almond and I use the peppermint so yeah taste explore enjoy so as usual we have a variety fun box and um, yeah, kids buddies. Crisper isn't here. <gasps> oh my God, they got the, oh my God. Um, okay, so this is so funny. <laughs> I just told a friend of mine, oh, you know what, I'm gonna try those banana snacks. I just said this. Naturally bare, baked, crunchy, simply banana chips. I just said this. This is so crazy. So they also have toasted coconut, um honey toasted coconut well this is honey and this is toasted i don't eat coconut so i know the girls i don't care if i eat it uh but the chocolate chip whatever this i'm gonna eat this i'm sure um we always eat skinny popcorn i mean that's together i mean i'm just gonna put a few snacks on the counter and the rest i put up so i tell you all before i don't buy my kids these things but when they come in the box i don't care like at all because it's only what two it's not like they're getting a whole container of it cheeses cheeses and a bunch of more snacks so this is the snack box like i buy for the oldest in college i tell y'all if you go through and you set it up they'll just ship it directly to them it comes out cheaper than me buying snacks shipping them snacks that kind of thing and i've also sent other snack box to amazon before and i shared that with y'all too and um actually when he was here last he told y'all about how he get these snacks all the time for me um but it's a variety box so they don't get bored with like just nabisco or just fig bars you know what i'm saying they get like a little bit of everything these cookies my favorite always peanuts girl what is this yellow shots what this says apple flavored jelly i got like pieces in this one girl did i say jello shots <laughs> this is not jello shots <laughs> Okay, they only sent two. They only sent two. Oh, I haven't seen these in a long time. These raspberry knots. I haven't seen that in forever. Grandma's cookies. I'm gonna leave these on the counter. They can't have these today though. They got a whole bunch of chocolate and cupcakes and stuff. They can have these later on this week. Um, what else? Pretzels and a bunch of these that Christopher and Kenny loves, like these airheads and roll ups. So. Shout out to the Variety Fun Box for sending me out a box. I guess we get one like every quarter, but they're really good for like, you know, fun food snacks for your kids and they can just, you know, have their own snack boxes, especially the college kids. I definitely promote this for college kids. Like not only just sending them these boxes, but they have other boxes too. They have um, like healthy snacks, variety junk snacks, all that kind of stuff. So it's different ones. So check them out. Um, this is good. Look at all this stuff on the counter. I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all see all this? <laughs> all that came in the box. That's crazy. But I'm going to put some up here on the cabinet for easy grabs and goes. And the rest is going into the pantry into their bins. It's just that their snack bins right now are full. If you watch the video of the pantry um, tour and all the stuff I put up from Costco, I surely do appreciate you. Thank you so much um, for supporting me on that video. I really, really do appreciate it. 
All right, the rest of the stuff, girl, we gotta put this stuff up. ice maker so this is a new air commercial um, ice maker it makes about 40 pounds of ice per day this is a commercial ice maker this is not your regular countertop Sam's Costco $50 ice maker this ice maker actually takes about 10 cups of water um, into its uh, reservoir before it makes nugget ice so this is like for I would say like those who do like um, who make smoothies who make um, you know do food prep with smoothies and you need a lot of ice or um, small businesses like juiceries stuff like that um, <laughs> or those who just like a lot of ice um, this would be cool for like even those I don't want to say snow cone trucks or anything like that but um, somewhere where you need a lot of ice in a shorter amount of time now for me um, I would say I mean, we're going to use it. I'll bag up the ice as many bags as I can, throw them in the freezer. This will save me from going to, like, Sonic to buy ice once a week, the bags. Um, they're now almost $3 for those bags. So that's what we normally buy. But uh, now I'm going to see uh, how many bags I can fill up. I, I already know how many bags, but I'm going to film what I can fill up from just this one reservoir of the 10 cups with ice. And I'll sh so you can hear it. It's pretty um, loud. It's like a humming it's in my pantry so we wouldn't hear it anyway that's why i say it's not really a countertop um ice maker it'd be perfect to put in like your pantry or, or in like a smaller area or whatever where you can just make ice um in bulk and then freeze it or whatever you want to do but i'm going to use a uh, gallon size freezer ziploc bags and get started so the light hasn't come on yet but it will in a second and i know it um this is the indicator for when it needs water and this is the indicator when it's full the blue lets me know that it is on and it's still working it does have this interior that helps the ice um, keep from melting especially while it's um, producing more ice but this is how much is in here thus far still about two or three cups of water left in there so I would say for seven cups of water this is a gallon bag of ice and this is what it made um, and it's been like an hour and 45 minutes for like a gallon bag of ice so 
Um, they say if it's moving too slow to unplug it, restart it, reset it, um, and make more ice. But if you need like a gallon bag of ice for like an hour or two hours, pretty much, you can get it. You know what I'm saying? Or you can just, like I said, eat it or use it, drink it as you. So I am done with cleaning the cabinets. I have some stuff that need to go to compost. I have uh, my cabinet doors all clean. Don't you just like when you don't have any crud or dust or whatever on your cabinets? Hmm. Now I cleaned up top about sometime last month. <laughs> I'm not getting up there right now. Um, I, that can wait. Uh, table's been clean. It looks good. Floors look good. So yeah, I'm going to close this video out. Thanks for hanging out with me. Once again, I'll put the information for the Variety Fun Box and all the snacks that come with it if you're interested. Hooking up them college kids, girl, or your kids at home if you're interested in the Over Easy Bars. Come back tomorrow. I would like to chat about those when we clean out this cabinet, girl, because <laughs> there's some stuff in there. Now, plus I want to talk to you about my vitamins, probiotics, and stuff too. And then if you want more information on the ice maker, that beautiful nugget ice. Girl, I imagine having company. You pull out that old bougie cup of ice, okay? Pour a little something, something on top of it. Girl, you'll be like, oh, oh, you fancy, huh? Shoot. Baby. I don't think I understand. I'm so excited. Look at this. So excited. All right, got me wanting to make me some to drink, but... I told y'all I haven't been drinking, so your girl has been choosing. Girl, this is not easy. But I haven't really been wanting anything like wine and stuff, so I've just been juicing. So I'm about to make me a grapefruit juice, and I'm about to head out. Thanks for hanging out with me. This video is probably an hour long or so. Um, I'll try to like shrink it for y'all, and I will see y'all on tomorrow. Peace and blessings. <laughs>